so hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are gonna move forward in our food delivery app okay so in this video what we are gonna do is we are gonna see how we can get our data from our database and we can just show that food uh, items on our um, list okay so as we were working on the restaurant part app so we and, and we have added the food in the database so j what we are going to do is that we are just going to show the food item that a restaurant have in the first tab of the app okay and the second tab will be for the food order that the customer will give okay so that second tab will be for the future part but this tab will be for the first part okay so i will show you what i have done because i have done it and i know that i was not uploading video from the two to three days it's not two it is approximately six days okay so in this video i'm gonna show you what we, i have done okay so you can see that uh, um, where is my part yeah uh, this is the uh, tab okay we have restaurant profile app in which the restaurant owner uploads his or her uh, restaurant profile okay and this is the food detail tab okay and for fetching the data from the mysql database to the uh, flutter app is to some point tricky where we have to use the user id and we have to pass a query to some point it's to some point tricky so just to be clear with your concepts in mysql also and in the http request or on post and get then only you will be able to uh, call each and everything so in this video i'm gonna explain li a little bit everything i have done and if you have any problem you can just write down to me and i will definitely get back to you on that okay so we have a food detail okay so food where is the food detail uh, yeah this is the food detail okay so food detail is a widget okay and firstly what we have to do we have to call the uh, future builder because um, we just want the food items of the restaurant owner okay and for for that restaurant owner we need to have the user id okay and we know that in flutter we can't directly access the future user id of the firebase auth user okay so uh, firstly i have called the future as the firebase auth instance current user what this will give us this will give us the data of the firebase auth okay and we can directly get the user id so in future uh, in builder i have just called the context and inside that i have called the firebase snapshot async snapshot firebase user okay so this will call the user and it will just call all the details related to the firebase user so if check if the it has a file snapshot okay if this has a snapshot it calls the get data okay and what is get data get data is a future list okay if you haven't watched my uh, video on the php and mysql part 4 you can just go over there and see it i have explained each and everything there but here also i'm gonna explain so what we will do we are gonna call the um, data from the php part okay so this is the rest api that i have created so i have called the id i have given the id that give me the food items of this id only okay so when the id is uh, sent it is sent to the server okay by this um, uh, this is my server i am just using the server of a triple zero web host okay so it uh, it just gives the uh, link and i have a id here okay so you can see that i am calling the uh, api using the id as a get but i am uh, um, extracting each and everything using the post method okay i will show you how i'm going to do so this is the part where i will get the uh, everything from that this particular id in the response okay and what this thing do, and everything is converted to the json part okay json decode because the data that a server gives us is only in the uh, json part so we have we will see what uh, we have done in this part okay come on yeah this is my um php my admin and this is the uh, web server of the triple zero web host i'm not using the local server okay and yeah guys if you haven't um, liked my facebook page uh, instagram page you can just see this this is my instagram page i know that there are not much followers you can just go and like that and increase that followers also okay just ignore that okay so what i'm gonna do this is the part where i am going to get the food okay 
yeah so you can see that i am getting the food uh, id as a get part and i am just to extracting each and everything from that ID uh, okay from that UID of the food details okay that is select as to from food detail where UID is equal to ID okay so this will extract all the items from the food detail where is my food is okay my battery is low let it be okay so it will extract each and everything come on so, okay so you can see that this is my food details okay so as i have done only for the one restaurant so it will be shown for the one restaurant only but um, it will work for each and every restaurant that you will add in future okay and the result is uh, given to us in a json format okay so for converting the data that we get from the mysql table into a json we have to use the json encode okay so it will just convert the data into json and the data is a uh, reflected back to our um, flutter app and it is stored in this response okay and from that response we want to get the body of the response so we just call the response dot body and it is just decoded back to the mysql table also okay and after this get data is done we are again going to do is that we are again going to call the um, snap future builder and inside that we have to get the data okay so it means that this is the future builder inside that we have gotten the data from the get data and we have to just iterate over it okay so this is the thing by um, that is the future we have got the id and in the builder we just have if we have the data then we will just print each and everything so i have a list item this is not a pre-built widget i have created a class for this okay so item list where is my item list okay, yeah this is my item list each and every data that uh, the snapshot returns to us is in the list format as we all know that because the future is in the list you can see that from here um, where is my data once again yeah you can see that everything is in the list format so the snapshot will always be in a list format okay so i have a list in the list item and the list dot data sorry item dot data will be sent to us in a list format and in that list format we know that we have uh, the list at a index i and inside that we have the each and everything so we have a food here a food price here okay and for getting the image the list i at image will give the image name okay and we have to get that image from the upload folder because we know that we are storing each and every image in the upload folder okay so we just call the image using this like we have just our reference and inside that we have a upload folder and inside the upload folder we have the image so for everything we are just getting the image okay and this image is reflected to back us back in our app okay so this is the thing that we have done in our restaurant app and in the client side app we we are gonna do the same thing we are not gonna do anything different we are just gonna do one thing is that we are not gonna call the uid we are gonna call each and every food that every restaurant have okay so like let me show you what this result will be so one second mm. one second guys um, i have installed the apk in my phone so once again i will just show you what it does okay okay so oh, this is where is my app yeah this is my app okay oh. so what we do okay yeah this is the please wait and one after few seconds come on oh my net is not work enabled mobile data is not enabled <laughs> okay once again it will fetch the data come on come on yeah so you can see that we have food one food two price one price two restaurant one food three okay and these are the thing that we have in our um, database okay and the image will be yeah you can see there one image has came i'll just taken my image that i had in my uh, mobile okay 
so and everything is same like we have done in past okay so that's all for today guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up and the code will be uploaded in my github repository just go there and watch how we do each and everything and my laptop is has no battery okay so we will just continue after the i have created the uh, client app okay after this video i'm gonna work on the client app how the client will be able to see each and everything okay so that's all for today if you are new to this channel just subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and if you have any problem just comment me down and i will definitely get back to you on that and you can join my flutter group page okay flutter group on whatsapp okay the link will be in the description below just go there click on the link and you will connect it with me on the flutter group page okay sorry flutter group on whatsapp <laughs> and if you want to have want to have a one to one conversation conversation with me you can just go and like my instagram page and dm me over there and i will definitely reply over there so that's all for today thank you have a nice day